So welcome back friends. So there was a lot of you, uh, you that wanted uh, me to do a quick video on how we fabricated the double motorcycle carrier uh, for the back of the adventure van. The reason why uh, we decided to design our own and, and to fabricate it was the, it wasn't, we really wasn't anything available that I could find that was of quality. Uh, there's a lot of double carriers out there and they're relatively inexpensive. When you start looking at them, uh, they're pretty dodgy. They're, a lot of them are overseas made. They're not very heavy duty and I wouldn't trust putting a whole lot down there. Maybe a single carrier you can get by with one of those cheapo ones if you have a small motorcycle, uh, but for a double one, especially going off road, it, I just couldn't find anything. So that left us no other choice than to kind of design our own um, with, with the idea of uh, having a word free carrier so let me bring you in here close I'll show you kind of the uh, how we built it um, and I'll also uh, we're not quite done with it I also want uh, some input from you guys for a couple things that uh, are still unfinished so let's take a look and see if we can't figure out a perfect solution together quick walk around here just to give you an overall impression of what we did and why we did it you can see here the whole thing starts off, the main spine of the whole thing, this is the receiver portion that goes into the van, is, um, is heavy duty. It's a quarter wall, meaning it's a two by two uh, stock, square stock, quarter inch wall thickness. That's pretty burly stuff and that, that is carrying the whole weight. So one thing I wanted to do was to have almost kind of a stadium seating, meaning that the, the bike on the back was a little bit higher because this sticks out so far that uh, if you don't raise these things up, then you have a problem when you pull out of uh, like gas stations that have dips, the bikes will drag. You know, some of those long RVs you'll see, they have actually wheels on the back of them. So we wanted to avoid all of that. So what we did uh, was we put this big, a four inch channel stock and this is also quarter wall thickness um, that has a little bit of five degree angle on it so that is all very heavy duty the other thing we had done was it had everything uh, boxed in so there are no open ends on this thing apart from right here on the receiver everything else is all boxed in and the reason being is that bees and hornets and all sorts of nasty things like to make nests in these so every when you pick them up you, you you'll get stung and you'll find things that are you know that want to get you so everything is capped so going underneath here let me show you get up under here here you can see another angle of the of the spine of it so that's that's that channel everything all boxed in and gusseted now this is these are i think this is 3 16 or eighth wall um, and these are just the gussets that go out and are tied in uh, to the cross braces there so you can see uh, which are for the tie downs but no open ends, everything boxed, everything boxed here. Very, very nice, very, very sturdy. And I don't see any problems in there. It's, it's pretty high, uh, so it's raised up pretty high. I put airbags on the back of the van that gets it up even higher. And I've tested it out and it doesn't seem to want to drag on anything. Another issue I had was I could not find rails. The, this is the, the rails that the bike sits in that were heavy duty enough. There's a lot of these available on the market, but they're very thin. They're, they're like a, a gauge metal, and they're kind of designed to bolt onto a flatbed trailer. They're not designed to carry the weight or to be, be a structural element of it. So we ended up having to build our own. So we got eighth inch strap, uh, two, there's, that's two inch and this is six inch and we made our own. We welded everything all up and then we cut this angle here, bent that up um, and just, we had to make our own. There just wasn't anything available that I could find. When uh, we put the ratchet straps on and started to pull on it, even the eighth inch started to bend a little bit right here. So we reinforced these ends, put an extra piece on there to stiffen them up. Uh, as well. So you can see the hole there in the back. This is going to be for a ramp system. So this is uh, something that we, we're, gonna st we're still working on. And But you can see it turned out really good. It's very strong, very stiff. Now here on the back side we also have, this is all gusseted as well and tied into these guys right here and there's just no flex in it whatsoever. These are the tie downs uh, for the straps. Uh, this is, what was that, one by two square stock or so. Uh, we cap the ends on there so that you can see no bees or anything in there and that gives a nice purchase point uh, for the, the tie down straps. Also you can see on this end as well is we put another piece of eighth inch on there uh, just to stiffen that up so when the bikes go up or the ramp pin is gonna go in here, it just is, was a, just a little bit of insurance that just made everything uh, nice, nice and strong. 
on that ramp mount, I actually was pointing to the wrong side. The ramp mount's going to go on the towards the van side. They'll go in here. So the the, the final thing that we're uh, trying to trying to kick around is the ability to mount two five gallon race cans. So having the gas cans inside is kind of a problem because they seem to vent. Even when you close them all up, you can always smell the gasoline sloshing around in there. And so it's just not very nice to have it in the cab. So we're trying to get everything we can out on this rack that is moto related. So what I think we're going to do is we've got those, you know, those white five gallon race cans that those will build some sort of a basket deal, maybe with some expanded metal and those will drop in there. We have to have two because Jack has a four stroke and I have a two stroke. So we burn different gas. So I'm thinking a race gas can here that we can drop in there you know maybe throw a bungee around maybe it has enough weight where we don't need it one on this side one on this side and that leaves us this area right here we maybe we might also do kind of like a shallow um, expanded metal basket in there for tie downs and straps and all those things that kind of accumulate and bungees or whatever uh, to keep them all in one place so they're you're not losing them because it's easy to lose those things another question that came up is why did you build this out of steel it looks really heavy uh, why didn't you use aluminum well, I would have loved to have used aluminum. Uh, that was kind of my original thought. And when I started sourcing the material and the cost of it, and, and I don't have the ability to weld uh, aluminum uh, to the level uh, that, that would be required for this, um, it was four, four, five, maybe six times the price uh, to do it in aluminum. Um, so that's why, <laughs> that's why I didn't do it in aluminum. So yes, it is heavy, but it's not too bad. I... Uh, with two of us, Jack can grab one side, I can grab the other side. We can easily put it in, get the pin in, and have it loaded up, no problem. But I, what I think that I'll do is I'll build a, like out of 4x4, four four, I'll build a stand for it with four casters on it. And I'll back the van up in here and, and try to get the right height. So if I could take it and just kind of like on a piano cart type of thing and just roll it in, you know, jiggle it in a little bit, then I could load it up by myself. So that that remains to be done. But once the gas can uh, fabrication is done, uh, we get the ramp deal sorted out. Uh, then we'll paint prime it and paint it up and then I'll show you the finished project But I think it's gonna I think it's gonna work out really good. I I drove with it <clears throat> with both bikes on it around um, you know, a couple hundred miles the other day um, in all different types of terrain and it, it worked really good one problem of course that, that we always run into with these things is the hitches are so sloppy so we hit when we hit the speed bump one time you know the bikes are bouncing and jumping up and down so I I have figured out I think I figured out a way to, to clamp and to tighten that down I'll share that with you too when when the material comes in because uh, that I, I don't like all that stuff rocking around it's kind of it's you know what would be nice is if we if trailer hitches if you had to double you know we could have two posts that come in because so, when you're trying to mount something you know that's sticking out on one little post i mean they do move around a lot i know there's some solutions out there everybody has kind of their take on building the better mousetrap for that but um i haven't quite found it yet so what's next well what's next is i've been working on uh the whole water tank system right here so i'm i'm halfway through a cabinet build here uh, that's going to include the water tank, the 21 gallon water tank and all of the components. The inverter is in the furnace and the hot water heater and all of that. So that's what this is right here. We'll, we'll cover this with the same laminate that's on the, the galley. Uh, but one thing that's kind of cool here is that this is going to be the outdoor shower. We don't have room for an indoor shower and we, we don't usually go on long trips anyway. So if you go to the, the beach, it's nice to have, if you have salt water on you or you just, you just want to wash your hair or just rinse off, we'll be able to have on-demand hot water, a small shower sprayer off the back. So we can build or find some sort of a uh, a shower curtain type of deal or, or just park somewhere where it's remote and and you can at least clean off with this here um, and then that'd be the hot and cold running faucet here and then the fill um, and I might if I can fit an air compressor in there you know maybe the air compressor chuck and that sort of thing I've just it's really been challenging trying to figure out how to fit all of this stuff in the small box but that's what I'm working on next I'll share that with you in the next video but uh, that's it yeah so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video